stories that we're filming are so fun to create and tell because it's so different from anything I've ever done and it's very current. Um, so it's cool to reflect what society is at the moment. I did not stay in the closet until I was 12 to be shamed back into it. I know, right? I can't just stand by. I have to do something. <sighs> Mia, are you eating a bowl of gravy? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how the audience are gonna react to Mia eating all the gross things that she has to eat all the time. I mean, I don't know anybody who eats what I have to eat on this show. Yeah. I want it. I've tried to speak to crew, I've tried to speak to the directors, the producers, nobody cares. I cannot eat this food anymore. I'm absolutely sick of it. I have to eat chicken skin, barbecue sauce. I don't even like barbecue sauce. The thing with your character, right, is that you're crazy. You're a sick freak. And that's why. Why can't Penny be a sick freak as well? I'm just in this alone. Will doesn't have to eat this. Huh? I've tried to talk to Nom, the writer, and also who plays she plays Penny, and she just thinks it's hilarious that I have to eat these things, and I don't think she understands that I'm quite serious, and I might have to quit. Really? No one's taking me seriously and no one's listening to me. It's like I'm not the main character or something. Did we already sign for a season two? Well, white it out because I'm not doing it. I've even spoken to Hum, who my character's based off, and she says she eats gross stuff all the time, so it's a bit weird, but. How did Margot Robbie get out of Australia? <laughs> We do like a, you know, a tonal spit bucket thing where you're each scene we have a different coloured bucket that sort of correlates with the location and your outfit and it's kind of all part of the vibe, you know? That could work. Okay. 